Um, so I have a few messages that I'm going to relay first before I go into this love reading, okay? I feel like for some of you um, watching, there has been a lot of uh, financial instability in your relationships. So for those in committed relationships, you might be married, you might be seriously dating. Um, I feel like the, the finances isn't exactly where it needs to be for you to feel secure, to feel stable uh, in that relationship. So it could be, you know, one person is uh, not able to find work, whereas the other person is, is like the, the sole breadwinner. And then there might have been some recent um, events that affected your um, wealth and your income or your partner's wealth or their income. And it's forced the two of you to confront these financial issues together. So when the money was, you know, coming in plentifully, things were really, really good. And now that the money is dwindling, it's like the fights are happening, the, the insecurity in the relationships creep up. And it's, it's almost like one person demands a lot of attention from the partner, and the partner is uh, dealing with a lot of financial worries. So I, I feel this element here about, you know, if you are going through that, I feel like this is the month where you are seeking some type of a financial planner, where you are trying to balance out the financial obligations and not let them affect the relationship. So it's almost like nipping the situation in the bud so that it doesn't seep into the relationship. For those of you who are single, I feel like there's a new burst of passion that you have for another person. And the reason I say that is we have here the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands um, in this deck, this is like carrying a torch for somebody. This is like feeling almost like, wow, that person is destined for me. That person is really, really, you know, uh, everything that I look for everything that I admire, everything that I want in a partner. So someone is really, really, um, I, I feel like you're carrying a torch for somebody, especially for those who are single. And I feel as well, you need to make sure that the person is completely available and single. And the next two cards, we have here the Ten of Coins which is a relationship card. But this is somebody that, you know, you, you envision riding off into the sunset with this person. You envision a life of um, prosperity. So they might be somebody who's very uh, professionally abundant, um, financially very abundant. And you're looking at them as if, like, you really admire this person, you look up to this person, and you want to build a future together. And you feel like they are either Mr. or Mrs. Wright. And we have the three of coins as well. So you might be meeting somebody in a work environment. You might have to do some type of training together. You might also be working collaboratively with one another. And the sparks are really, really flying, okay? For some of you, this might be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. And then for others, it might be another, like a fellow fire sign, um, Sagittarius, another Leo, or an Aries. So going back to, you know, the relationship sector in general, I feel as if uh, for many of you, this is uh, the partner that you're dealing with here. We have the emperor. And the emperor is somebody who is like in control. They are really well respected professionally. A lot of people bow down to them. A lot of people look up to them. A lot of people come to them for advice. And a lot of people trust their expertise. So you might be with a really skilled uh, person. You might have met a really skilled person. You might also really look up to this person, respect this person. So they are a leader in their community. They're in some type of a field where they have a lot of weight. They have a lot of credibility and they are just a force to be reckoned with. And so when you're with this person, you feel really proud. You feel like, wow, you know, uh, everyone is looking at us. We're like the power couple. So I feel this element about kind of living vicariously through the achievements of a relationship partner. And then I'm also sensing with the Four of Cups, it's almost like this, this differential, and this is also what I felt for um, 
uh, cancers as well. Like one person is getting all the, the limelight and the other person is like, where's my time to shine? What do I have going on for myself? And if that's the case where you're just like, wow, my partner is achieving so much success, when is my success going to come? Then we have the Ace of Wands, which signifies new projects, new endeavors, new uh, things that you're going to be involved in that will really take off and make you on par with your partner when it comes to your professional development, when it comes to income, when it comes to money, when it comes to alleviating a lot of these financial issues. So it's like the burden is not going to be on one partner. Both parties will have the professional accolades, will have the financial stability in order to move the relationship along, in order to you know not let the financial situation or the financial aspect affect the relationship and not let um, money and, and, and security-oriented issues um, get in the way. So I also feel there is a major big pregnancy vibe here so for those of you who have been waiting on your partner like um, you know um, your partner might be like let me get my career started before we think about uh, children building a family this is the week where I feel like the career is in place the work is in place the money is in place so we can bring a third person like a child into the picture so there are some major breakthroughs here that will make you quite happy and I do feel like, you know, these are major decisions that are coming into the picture and uh, agreements as well, consensus between you and your partner that will allow you to take the next step, okay? And, you know, child rearing is also incredibly, incredibly expensive, right? And it's a lot of responsibility, but aside from that, it is quite expensive. And so even if for those of you who are thinking, oh, okay, let's go small and start small and get a puppy, get a dog, get a cat, um, I feel like your partner, they've been waiting, um, they, they might have put a stop to it or they might have halted, mainly because they, they know it's expensive, they know that it's a lot of responsibilities, and they're trying to get their life in order so that they can give you everything that you want, and because they couldn't, they might not have expressed that, they might have thought, you know, intuitively, um, you know, the Leo person understands me, so they should already know that. But I feel like for you, their rejection was a major, major, um, like, it, it's like a, it, it bruised your ego. Because you took it too personally, and I feel like, you know, you didn't look at it as, okay, it's not practical for right now. Or you, you they meant, you know, yes, but not right now. Whereas you only heard, you know, not right now, not ever. So I feel like you took it very personally and they had some valid reasons for doing what they did or for telling you no, but I feel like it, it was just, it's, it's almost like telling a fixed sign no about something that they're really, really fixated on is almost like telling them, um, telling them that you don't agree with their lifestyle. It, it's, it's that bad. So I feel like it wasn't just the other person telling you no, it was like they're saying no to everything that you had your hopes in, that, you know, it's like you put all your eggs in one basket, you presented them the case, and then they said no, and it was very, very crushing, and I feel like there was some resentment as a result of that, that no gesture, but this is the week where, you know, you have a clean start, and you're going to be able to move away as well, okay, to move away and, and find a mutual space of understanding. For those who are single, I feel like you might have drifted away from somebody that might have been very controlling. They really messed with your self-esteem, okay? They made you feel like you're not worthy. They made you feel like you were less than. They made you really doubt your actions. They made you really doubt your own reality. And you have a spark of love and passion for somebody else. And I keep feeling this. Somebody is like attracted to really strong paternal um, figures. And when they are, when they end up in the relationship with the really strong paternal figures, they feel like the paternal figure patronizes them. So there might be an age gap between you guys and the per people that you date, okay? So 
like they could be younger, they could be significantly older, but I feel like somebody is playing the, the role of the parent in the relationship, telling you no, and then you recoil almost like a child, and you, you know, you soak away. So I feel like if that's a pattern, you need to kind of break away from that, okay? Because in a relationship, no one should play the, the role of the parent. Both parties need to be on equal footing and both parties need to, I guess, like uh, be adults and have these conversations in a very non-defensive type of a way, okay? So I'm feeling here somebody is really attracted to like older parental people, um, like parental figures um, as relationship partners. And then over and over and over again, they get disappointed because that person tends to be a little bit colder, more distant, more of a disciplinarian and, and, you know, says no to them all the time and they feel unloved. And then I'm also seeing somebody who's moved away from one relationship and is attracted to somebody who is already in a relationship. Please be careful about that, Leos. Okay. Um, moving on to other areas of your life. So I have here your energy as the Knight of Wands. Headed in the wrong direction. Communicating with people, coming to people's aid, coming to people's, um, fighting battles for other people, okay? And uh, the, the thing about you guys is that you are very, very loyal, you are very courageous, and you don't need to owe anybody, you know, you, you don't need to be loyal to somebody to defend them. If you see somebody who is mistreated, it doesn't matter if you like them. If you see an injustice, if you see somebody who's mistreated, you will speak out. And so you play fair and you will come to other people's rescue and you will come and defend other people. I see for those of you who have children, you're also very overly protective of your children and you feel like your children can do no wrong. So this is a week where we kind of have to be a little bit careful and, and exercise, you know, uh, loving detachment. If your children are in a situation at school, for example, I have here the Page of Swords, and you're constantly coming to their rescue all the time, they're not going to be able to learn. They need to learn to, you know, express their ideas, express what they need, what they need. And at the same time, if you believe everything that your children can do no wrong, and then you, um, you know, uh, you come to your kids rescue only to find out from their teachers or their peers that they're not the most honorable so it's it's a really good week to kind of like let other people fight their battles but to also know the ins and out of a entire story before you charge ahead and take a stance and and fight for somebody or defend somebody because what i feel is this person might not be forthright the communication the 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 facts the information that are presented is very very skewed very one-sided so the sword is on one side it's almost like lying by omission okay and you're walking right into it not that it's a trap but I feel like you're hearing one side of the story you're coming to somebody's rescue and I feel like it's an empty victory here with the five of swords they might not be telling the truth. They might not be completely honest and there might not have been full disclosure. And so you're rushing into something where you don't have all the facts. So be careful about that. Um, I see a lot of people going after the wrong things like um, going, saving the wrong people, believing the wrong people, going after the wrong things. But I feel like this energy here serves for you to be very careful about um, who you get involved with and the things that you do for other people. Whether or not it's being reciprocated, just make sure that the, the, the people are honest and forthright with you. Otherwise, you know, if somebody lies to us repeatedly over and over again, uh, let alone like not, not just once or twice, but I, I feel like it, it does a lot to damage a relationship and it also should reveal to you how they really feel about you if they can't really suck it up and tell you the truth, okay? Or if they're feeding you these little lies here and there. It's not because they want you to see them in the best light. It's because they're trying to manipulate your emotions. 
And then I'm also sensing as well, you've got another person on your side who is really rooting for you and who's really happy that um, you're able to achieve a lot more financial success. I feel many of you might be going through some type of a training program here with the Page of Pentacles. So this is about learning a new craft that can be income generating. This is learning a new skill, learning a new trade, being a student, um, going through some type of a formal training, on-the-job training or formal training. This can also be the beginning of a new job. It doesn't, you know, promise the world. It's not like a um, six, seven-figure type of a job, but it's the start to something. It's the start to stability, which you can be built, which you can build upon which you can take into the future with you and you have somebody here who is a water sign Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio and they might be the catalyst to kind of push you in that direction they might encourage you to go back to school if they do definitely take up that offer okay they they do encourage you if they're pushing you in the right direction I feel like they care about your long-term development and your long-term capabilities they know that you're not living up to your potential so they're making some major sacrifices in order to allow you to not worry about finances so that you can focus on something more long-term I feel like for many of you it's really frustrating because you're in a situation where you are either aware that you're not living up to your full potential that you need to like branch out and do other things and learn new things and get a new job and you know apply yourself where for for like 100 percent you feel complete but you're stuck in some type of situation and you're reassessing it right now because there has been some major changes in your life and you have to reassess it and this is the first time where you're just like either frustrated because you're not living up to your potential or you are now aware of it so you're finding opportunities for you to live up to your full potential and so I feel like it's very mixed but for those of you who have someone who's very loving and supportive and you know who might have given you the harsh truth when you weren't ready to hear it I feel like that's the right partner for you regardless because they they motivate you they give you know like um, being a good partner is always is not always like agreeing with your significant other you kind of need to give them a, a reality check every now and then you kind of need to keep each other in line and you kind of need to call each, each other out when there is BS okay so I feel like you're with somebody who's exercising tough love but you feel neglected you feel like they're 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 like raining on your parade but this is the week where you're gonna start to value their insights their inputs and you're going to they're they're going to give you like you know behind the scenes support financial emotional whatever so that you can kind of they, they can nudge you towards your long-term career development towards developing your long-term potential all right so a little bit of a rough start but I feel it ends well okay listen to other people's advice I, I'm sensing that that's gonna be a major it's gonna allow some major breakthrough for you guys Leo's I wish you all the best okay take care of yourself and I'll talk to you guys soon bye bye